Hey, I'm Alwe Carlsen with Elevate Solutions, also known as CRM Chai Guy. We're here at Extreme 365 in Dubrovnik and we are ready for another Two Minute Tuesdays. So let's take a look at today's tip. One thing I always, people like using on charts are pie charts. It's easy to see the percentages of seeing your data as a part of a whole when looking at pie charts. However, the pie charts are actually not showing you the percentages, they're showing you the actual value of uh, of those records. So one common customization is to add the percentage and show the percentage in nice big letters instead of those small values uh, of currencies that you can see on the pie chart itself. And there are several different ways to do that. One of them is to export the XML, make some manual changes in the XML, export it back in, and then you can see your changes. So that means you have to know exactly what to change in the XML and find the correct properties in the code itself and update those. Another trick that you can use is to open up the XM toolbox and find the advanced chart editor. In the advanced chart editor, you can select your pie chart, open up all the properties on the pie chart, and then you can see the list of properties and go to the custom properties specifically. There you'll see a section called labels and font. In there, you can change the value to hashtag percent, percent all caps, and they'll display the percentage value rather than the actual value on the pie chart. And of course, you, maybe you want to consider increasing the font size at the same time, or uh, changing the font type to something that's going to look nice for, your, for the chart itself. One thing to keep in mind here is that there's a property on there called is value shown as label. That one needs to be set as false. That's the one that will show the actual uh, actual value, either the currency or the count of those records. Uh, however, changing that to false will allow the hashtag percent to show the percentage of the value. So all you got to do is make those changes. Remember to click save, update the chart, and possibly change some of the colors at the same time. And you can push your data back in, and now you have a pie chart showing like those percentages in nice big letters instead. Thank you, and see you next Tuesday.